There's a prayer in the liturgy today that exhorts us to fast with joy. Fast, joy. I don't know about you, when I, but when I get hungry, I'm pretty grumpy. So, what's the connection? Fasting, joy. Well, look at the situation that the season of Lent addresses. Our sins, our indifference, our busyness, our selfishness, separate us from God. Fasting helps to make room within us to reconnect. Lent, prayer, fasting, giving alms. These disciplines prepare us to take in the mystery of the death and rising of Christ. Wow, and if that isn't a cause for joy, this is the mystery that reconciles us to God, to ourselves, and to our neighbors. More connections. Remember you are dust. Well, God formed Adam from the dust of the earth and breathed a living spirit into him. But then we hear, and to dust you shall return. There's a challenge, challenge to recognize that life is short. So choose God today. In the second reading from St. Paul, we heard, now is the day of salvation. So don't miss the opportunity to repent and draw near to God. Now is the time. The ashes we use on this day are made from the palm branches that were blessed last year, Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week. And this Lent, as we fast and pray, we look ahead to Holy Week, where we start off that week standing together, holding a blessed palm to hear the passion of Christ proclaimed. More connections. Ashes on this day connect us to the whole people of God. We heard from the prophet Joel today, blow the trumpet in Zion, gather the elders, proclaim a fast, everybody, the day of the Lord is near. We gather today recognizing we are, each one of us, sinners in need of God's mercy. Today, millions, hundreds of millions of Christians around the world are on our knees before God asking forgiveness. And it's important that we do this together. We need the support, the prayer, the example, the encouragement of the sinner slash saint who is right beside us. Connections. This year we've had to arrange Ash Wednesday uh, to avoid a big crowded gathering. We need to respect the rules of the quarantine. So we can't linger in the church. And many of us, I know, are praying and fasting from home. But the entire people of God is gathered today, each in their own way, opening the heart to turn from sin and believe in the gospel. So stay connected. Stay connected to God and the people of God. 